How's it going, everyone? I'm Contemption, and the day has finally arrived. I am expertising Harold. I have just enough legendary sculptures to finish him off. Why am I finishing him off? Well, we're in Strife of the Eight KVK. Pass is open soon, so I'm going to want him for that. We also have Ark of Osiris tomorrow, which I'm going to live stream at 20 UTC. So please join me if you're available. Um, I'm looking forward to testing him out. He's going to have fantastic gear. I'm going to put him most likely as primary for this test with Alex's secondary. Um, I think that's going to be great. I don't know. Maybe I should be putting him behind Alex or behind Charles Martel. But I'm going to try that combo first. I think tomorrow will be a great test. And I think we'll have a lot of fun with it. And we'll be able to see really what he puts out there in open field. And having Alex out there with his AoE debuff is obviously a great thing. So stick around. We'll get through the intro. And then we're going to put him to expertise in level 60. Just because why not? So here we go. All right, here he is. As you can tell, I've got Harold at 511 right now. If we go into skills and I will move over. So you'll see we have 640. His first four skills are worth uh, 10, 10, 15, 15, which is 50. So technically I have 690 sculptures ready for Harold, 50 of which are already in him. So we're going to put him all the way up to the top. But before we do that, Let's just, and as you can see on your screen, it's not fake. Those are how many experience tomes I have sitting on this account. It's a little bit ridiculous. So let's just burn through them. I'm going to use all these 50s down below just because literally they're just sitting there. I will never use this many experience tomes unless they drop like a whole bunch of new commanders. It's not going to happen. Uh, okay, well, this is kind of pointless because he's almost already at four stars, but there we go. Last skills done. Let's just keep bringing him all the way up. I'll go back to the bottom again. This won't take too long. Uh, nope. I'm still too much of a hoarder to just hit the yes button. Oh, that's a nice pop-up. You're going to see another pop-up at the end here, and I think you're really going to like it. It's brand new. I just expertised Ethelflaed on one of my farm accounts, and it's a new pop-up I've never seen before. I think people are going to like it. I'm, I really like it, so we'll take a look at that when it comes up, but very cool. Highly suggest you get it. We'll take a look at that very soon. Okay, he is at five stars. Let's finish him off to six stars here. We're almost out. Ooh, we're out. Sweet, level 7 tomes are finally gone. Uh, we've got another one here. Whew, it's going to be an uh, expensive commander day. That's for sure. Now, the problem with those bundles, as you can see, is I don't need the stars. So as nice as those are for newer players, probably they look really good. But I'm probably not going to get them. Because we're in Season of Conquest right now. And the Crystal Tech is already more expensive enough than anybody wants to spend. So we'll probably leave those, but we'll take a look again when the next pop-up comes and you'll see what pops up every time you do a new legendary commander to expertise. Obviously, I don't have one where we're just summoning Herald so you get that first pop-up bundle. It's not that one, but we're going to see everything else. Okay, he's level 60. We'll go over the talent tree in a second, but let's not delay this any further. Let's just open everything up. Confirm, back, make sure everything is good before I do this. Here we go. So hit the little sculpture. And let's just start using all of them. That's it. Harold, here we come. This is going to be sweet. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Uh, I want to work Pakal as well. But it really depends on what the new legendary infantry commanders look like. I'm sure they're going to be dropping probably next month. Check out that luck though. We got 5125. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's keep going and just get him all the way finished here. But I I might do Pakal. We'll see. I think Pakal is a great commander for rallies and even an open field. 
I think he would be worth it if the next two infantry commanders aren't fantastic. But then I also have to remember that there's going to be archer commanders after that. So we're going to be saving our next sculptures. And oh, perfect. 160. I was worried my math was wrong, but we're good. I'm going to save my sculptures after this commander and just wait. I'm also not going to expertise a new infantry commander when they come out until people have tested it. I am not Kraken. I am not a whale. I am a dolphin. And that is it. So there is no way that I am able to just expertise a commander and hope it's good. Can't do that. I've got to be picky. I've got to do research. I have to do that for each commander. And that is Harold. That's what I've been doing with him as well. And there we go. Valhalla. That is a fantastic expertise. It helps make him such a great commander for open field. And there we go. Harold is finished. He looks fantastic. I am sure he's probably close to... Oh, he's right there because he doesn't have talents yet. So let's take a look. What are we going to do for the talents? This is most likely going to be... And I, I do apologize for how bad the beta version is with zooming in and out. But that's what we get to work with. Um, not going to need latent power. I'm going to probably do something very similar to what Guan has. Because Guan has the skill and uh, infantry tree as well. So I'm definitely going to hold the line. I know I'm going to be going up here. And if you see that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Obviously, you need buckler shield. Reduces The whole point of this is that people swarm Harold, hopefully. Um, so buckler shield is an absolute must. Okay, so we've gotten rejuvenate. You need that for the rage. I'm not a fan of feral nature. I don't think I need it. Um, I, I think we'll have enough rage through rejuvenate and through the amount of people who are going to swarm this march. I think we'll be fine. I don't think we need feral nature. I think I could test with it in the future and see, play around with it, but I don't think we need it. Obviously, you want clarity. I think that's a no-brainer, especially for this commander. Like I said, Buckler Shield's a must. Hold the line is fantastic. Um, you're talking about a 10% chance to reduce damage taken by 20% for two seconds after being attacked. After being attacked is the big one. You're talking about when you're getting swarmed. I think it's a must. Uh, I'm going to do strong of body to make this commander a little more tanky. And then I'm going to go up and I'm just going to grab as much march speed as possible. And that includes that. Now, here's one thing I always struggle with. Do I go with the 1% infantry health or do I go for the 2% increase in march speed? I think I'm going to go with infantry health. And that's because of how much march speed this commander and Alex are going to have. You're talking about 10% from this. I'm also going to be putting the full legendary set on him for another 10%. And then with Alex, he's also got, uh, where is it here? 30% increased march speed. So this is going to be a very fast march. We'll take a look at how fast he is in a minute, but it's going to be very cool. Okay, let's put the gear on him. I'm going to, if, I can, if my mouse works, I'm going to click this. I'm going to take this off Guan for right now. Okay, so we got that off Guan. I'm going to put it on, I'm not sure about accessories, so we're going to go over that too. Obviously, I'm going to want to put specific accessories on him knowing he's going to get swarmed. So let's go with, obviously, the full infantry legendary set. The only thing I don't have with this set is specialization. I did not get lucky on any crafting. I have one out of like 20 legendary items non-expertised so one out of 20 is pretty terrible i don't think i'm going to put concealed dagger on him i don't think so we can play around with that i'm not going to put march speed on him obviously i am going to put uh we'll put this on him i'll probably trade it for richards so that i can increase it with the specialization so i'll probably do that before arc of osiris but my richards right now out with ysg farming barbs what is the second? Maybe I just keep it with that. You know, reduce. I'm going to be doing a lot of, I don't know. I, I do want more as web as well. So maybe I'll end up putting more as web on him. 
but let's go fix my guan and then we're gonna we're gonna take alex and him out and see how fast they are we'll see if we can uh we'll be able to test it i should have two marches back by now we'll be able to test and see how fast he is in comparison with a cavalry march now i'm not going to test him now like i said i'm going to be live streaming arc of osiris I don't think me testing as one-on-one -on -one is going to give me any indication of how good he's going to do in actual murder balls. The only way to test this is with actual murder balls like Ark of Osiris or like KVK. So I'm going to just try out Harold and Alex. And if it doesn't do well, I'll switch it to Alex and Harold or Charles and Harold, depending on you know how the enemy reacts in the field. And that's a huge part of murder balls is... And having enough available commanders and then be able to swap the gear very quickly is switching them up. If you notice that your Naboo is getting targeted a lot, then put Gilgamesh as a primary or put Naboo behind Ramses. Or you got to play around. You need those commanders available to swap them in and out to see what works best in open field. I am one who likes longevity out in the field. I have a lot of uh, debuffs and buffs for allies in my open field marches. So I want to make sure I'm out there and present for as long as possible. Obviously, you're going to get swarmed. That's why I have Harold, And that's why I have a bunch of other great commanders. But I do like having my presence on the field out there as long as possible. Numbers really does help, especially when people are in a visual game. The more people you see, the more it's like, I want to stay away from that murder ball. Okay, we've got that finished. We're going to put Guan back together. Now, Guan is going to steal obviously stuff from other commanders do i i definitely going to need to craft another helm there's no doubt about it with the defense i will be doing that in the near future but for now let's just put on all of this attack stuff equip uh, we'll take that away from leo leo's not a primary anymore i was running leo and joan as a primary march it was great but i don't think with the amount of commanders i have now I don't think it's needed. I'm going to put uh, Leo behind Guan and then Alex behind Harold. Okay, where is the next piece? There it is. And gloves right there. Everything I have epic is specialized at this point other than accessories, of course. That's going to take longer. And there we go. So that's Guan for right now. We'll switch it around as time goes on. I need to clean up my March. My uh, I'll leave that for now. That's good to have, but I'll probably delete this one. And that way you need one, like if you're switching out, you need one available that's blank. It just, the way it works, I don't know why they couldn't come up with a better system for that, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, look at that. We've got, oh, snap, I got an achievement. Oh, well, that's a nice surprise. There you go. Dang. That's fantastic. Okay, well, I finished those rewards. That's very cool. Okay, and as you can see, I've got those. Oh, it didn't pop up. I wonder if it's... I'm going to put... Um, I'll leave this... I'm going to talk right now, and I'm just going to leave this up because I have the photo. I did take a photo of it, so I'll put that up on the screen right now. This is the bundle you get, I guess, when you do your first Expertise Commander. Very strange because that would have been on a farm that was the first expertise commander. Maybe it's a one-time pop, but it's not on each one, which is kind of a bummer. But hey, new players, you get an extra bundle. Unless it's new kingdoms, I don't know. Very strange that it doesn't pop each time, but oh well, at least you get to see it. That's what happened. But we've got these. I'm actually thinking I'm not going to go for these. I don't need the stars. You saw how many stars I have. I don't need the experience points. Of course, I need the gems, but I think they could go um, for better bundles, especially during recharge right now, and those don't count with recharge. Okay, let's send... Sorry, I, I do the daily things. I can't help myself. Uh, we got two free marches, so let's test this out. I am in uh, S right now on G territory, so territory is not going to change anything. Uh, let's just set this up as... Okay, Harold and Alex, that's... That's cool. I like I like this march. That's very, very cool. Okay, that's going to be taking out, um, I guess, Charles and Mehmed, which is a pretty strong combo in my opinion, especially since they both have relics. 
but let's see how fast they are in comparison. And obviously I'm going to use, uh, probably it's the fastest march for cavalry that I have. And we'll just see. Obviously it's going to be slower. You can tell it's going to be slower. And um, you're gonna see a lot of edits on this video and I apologize, but I've got like a frog in my throat. So it is what it is. But my uh, Tau Tau is, uh, is pretty fast and actually, it's about to be faster. I forgot I had that. So there you go. This is probably the fastest how to you can get. I don't think it could possibly get faster than that. Uh, well, maybe if I took off trophy hunter and put it somewhere else. Oh, right there. So if I did get rid of trophy hunter, I could be a little bit faster, but that's pretty close. Okay. Let's get these guys on the exact same piece of land facing the exact same way that way it's perfectly fair and what i typically do is just march to i want to march somewhere with a clear line of sight let's go right there that should be pretty clear they should both run the same way why does it go up like that who knows what does it say oh man it's actually slow <laughs> <laughs> okay so obviously no comparison wow i thought it'd be a lot faster to be honest i know infantry is slow i get that man i thought there'd be so much more march speed than that because it's got 10 percent from there i guess i could like buff it up with uh where's the accessory right here wind scars a little bit more but i thought that'd be faster that's funny Alex, am I missing something in Alex's skill? Infantry march speed bonus while on the map. No. Wow. Calves just crazy fast. I don't have a lot of experience with calves, so that's a bit of a bummer. But I imagine they're probably pretty close or Harold is probably one of the fastest marches I have. Uh, especially because Guan Leo is actually a lot slower now since I don't have Alex behind um, Guan anymore. But that's it. There we go. Harold is done. I think I'm going to keep him with the accessories like that for now. Like I said, I'll switch uh, Richard's uh, specialized, uh, where is it right here? Delaney's amulet with him. But besides that, that's it. I do have enough for another helm, but I am crafting more as web first. I'm hoping to have that before field fighting in KVK. And that's most likely going to be a possibility. So at least, you know what, let's see what um, Harold, before I end this video, uh, it's going to be five. And let's just see what Guan and Leo is like, uh, because that's going to be, it's my favorite march. They get fantastic trades. I'm sure it's going to do very well tomorrow in Ark of Osiris. And it looks like Harold's a lot faster. So Harold will probably be up there really quick with Naboo and um, YSG. I have no doubt about that. And let's just see. Obviously, my gem farmers are coming back. And what do we got? Oh, they're actually really close. That's super surprising. Uh, 24. This is just the way we click. That's weird. Oh, well. There you go. So it's quite a bit faster. It'll be up with Naboo. That's fantastic. So that commander's done. I hope you guys do come and check out the live stream of the Ark of Osiris tomorrow. Thank you for checking out another video. Please do hit the like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, have a good one. See you later.